happy Monday. <laughs> it feels like every Monday something's happening outside. Oh my gosh. And last night, I swear, it sounded like a body fell off the roof. We have a possum that I'm sure has an internal alarm and knows what time is what because at 10.30 we will hear them, I just say them, I'm not he, she or they, run across our metal roof on part of the side of the house. Part of the house has a metal roof because it's an extension and we'll hear it dead on 10.30. Da, 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 da. And then at about 2.30 in the morning, I think it attempts to jump from the house to the shed because we'll hear like, bang. <laughs> and last night, I think it missed because I heard like, bang, clunk, clunk, dunk, clunk, dunk. Too scared to go outside to see if there's a body out there. I'm sure even if it did hit the ground, it probably would have got up and staggered on its way somewhere. Mm. Anyway, it's um, Monday afternoon. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I am having such a lazy day today. I side hustled pretty much all day Saturday, exhausted. Sunday, I just did a little food shop because I had to finish the Coles uh, four week spend and was going to side hustle but then some jobs disappeared and I thought you know what we'll, we'll just call it because I was starting to feel really drained anyway I thought let's not push myself and I'm glad I didn't because today I've woken up feeling like I've hit a wall I woke up with a really sore throat and I thought oh here we go but having something to eat and drink it's kind of settled it a little bit so I'm thinking okay let's just let's just hope so I had a quieter day today, oh, uh, feeling guilty that I just don't have the energy to get up and do a whole lot of stuff because I do enjoy doing some cleaning and stuff, but yeah, <laughs> uh, days like today, I wish that I had a cleaner, um, but then I feel guilty. I had a cleaner once for about an hour. I dismissed her after an hour. Um, at the time, it was years ago. Um, when my son was having a lot of school issues I'd gone to like a disability expo or something and I was just talking to them about ways to get speech and OT help this was before NDIS was a thing and they had mentioned like you could get a cleaner um, and I was like oh okay sure and they said just to like help with washing or the dishes or because I was like I just want someone to come and help with the dishes and they're like they can do that and I was like, okay. And the lady came and she'd only been here for about 45 minutes. And I was really busy with Avon at the time. And my son was home because we, we were having a home day of school anyway. So I was in between helping him with some puzzle stuff and doing some Avon stuff at the same, we were all in the same room. And she went to me, so you're just like home like all day. And I said, well, I'm running a business as well as taking care of my son. And she's like, but you're just like at home and you get a cleaner. And I was like, thank you, you're done. See you later. <laughs> so I um, dismissed her and the company were like, we are so sorry. I'm like, it's fine. I've heard worse. So yeah, it gets a little bit frustrating. The same with from time to time, we will get a gardener to mow our lawn through NDIS. And that is the only help that we get. We are qualified to get other stuff and we don't use it and when we first went in to do all the planning stuff it was when my son was having extreme difficulties at school and from a mental health perspective you write what the worst possible day looks like for you and my day was like I get up at 7am do this and that other I get my son to school but at like 8.20, I stay there until 9 o'clock to settle and do the morning stuff because he was in a special class to support all students with learning needs and stuff like that. And lots of parents stayed and we did reading and other stuff like that. 
and then I would leave at nine o'clock. I would get home, literally sit on the toilet and the phone would ring and say, can you please come and come back? We've had some altercations with some students where someone got caught in the middle of it or he got upset. And so I'd have to literally drive back to school and pick him up again. And then that was my day. So from a mental health perspective, NDIS were like, I think you need some help. And I was like, I don't want any help. I just want school to deal with what's going on. And of course, NDIS don't touch government regulation stuff. And also when I turned around and said to NDIS, all I want is a weekly psych and speech and OT sessions for my son. So my son can be engaged and learning with some other areas. And NDIS were like, mm, it's not really, you know, it's probably not going to help him with his future needs. Would you like a cleaner? He, here's a bucket of money for a cleaner. I don't want a cleaner. I want some psych, OT and speech that's actually going to support my child. And they're like, mm, here you go. So sick and tired of arguing, I decided also for our mental health and sanity that yes, I'd get a gardener. And the gardener, I said he could only come every once to eight to 12 weeks rather than monthly, which is what NDIS was saying, this is what we recommend for you to do. And this is what the budget is. I was like, no, nope, I'm going to stretch that out as much as I could. I've never gone over my budget either with that. And I'm pretty frugal <laughs> when it comes to that. And as I said, that's the only help that I get. And I know that someone on here had an issue with it. So I'm just putting it out there on the line. I do everything else myself, as you see, because some of it for me is content. And I just I don't want anyone in my house because I'm sick of the judgment. And yes, I know that I claim I've put it on the internet for people. But yeah. And... It's hard to explain because I don't want to get angry and upset because, you know, you don't know what you don't know. And people are going to have opinions when you put things on the internet and that's totally fine. But I always just feel like I have a right to stand up for myself and express and explain what's going on. So that's why I do share some things because I know that there are other people out there that will be watching this and go, totally get it. Yep. I don't want anyone in my house either. A friend of mine had a cleaner come once and she said to her, you know, if you didn't let your dog sleep in the laundry, um, the floor wouldn't get so dirty. It, like, I get it. <laughs> People are just trying to express an opinion and, and, and say things, but it just comes off backwards. <laughs> so, mm. Yes, and also on the weekend, I can't really discuss a lot of it, but some things have been kicking off in some areas that I um, do some work in Facebook groups and other things like that. And I just think, right, oh my God, where are people's manners? Because <sighs> you try and keep calm and, and a neutral. And so dealing with people can also be a lot. So some weeks I'm just mentally exhausted dealing with all of that as well as everything else the frugal stuff comes really easy to me and I am apologizing if there's lack of content in some areas because I just do stuff automatically without ever thinking about it uh, because also when I grew up in the 80s and 90s well I was born in the 70s so 70s 80s and 90s there just wasn't things around back then like coffee shops and Maccas and, and stuff like that. Well, Maccas was way later in, in the 80s. But, you know, everything was go home. <laughs> Food was at home. If you wanted to catch up with a friend for a coffee, or the adults did, they went to someone's house because the person was home. So that's just the culture I grew up with. So it's, I don't think these days either. I mean, when I was in the working, you know, I'd have coffee because that was the culture. But as soon as I stopped doing a lot of that, it was like, no, I'll wait till I get home. I wait till I get home to have food unless I'm out and about and haven't been organized to take a sandwich. Then I'll go to Coles and get a salad kit or something like that. I won't buy a wrap because I think they're expensive, but I will buy a, a salad bowl like I did um, in my vlog, side hustle and that because... I would be purchasing that to eat for dinner anyway. So I think that's good value. Yeah, I'm probably not making any sense. <laughs> I'm not very well. <laughs> and 
I'm feeling guilty that I'm still in my dressing gown, so I'll probably go and get dressed before Hubby gets home. It also has just taken me two hours to edit the vlog that just went up because there was just a couple of editing little sound issues that I had in there and I had gone on a rant about something else and I thought let's take that out. I often sit and talk to the camera a lot so if something's a little bit disjointed I apologise. <laughs> I've probably just gone blah, 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 and then gone mm, let's maybe not include that. <laughs> yeah I think that's all I had to say for today so I'll go and get organized uh, and also I need to record the entry for the side hustle vlog as well. Hey everyone, checking in Tuesday afternoon, just got home, I'm running around like a crazy doing some side hustles. I just went to Woolies and I picked up this panko breadcrumbs uh, for $1.70 on clearance. Hobby really likes spicy things so I'm hoping these will work well. I'm not going to do like in the drumsticks like they probably say, I might do chicken tenders if I can get some on clearance. I think that would work really well or I'll just do chicken breast filler and I will cut it up so and then I got a packet of uh, be better chips because I got like a hundred points back but also because I want to do some side hustles on the way to Zumba tonight I want to make sure that dinner is cooked and like there for everyone because I'm feeling better today than last night oh my gosh I was feeling really run down last night but the sore throat and the nose and most of it seems to be gone I'm still a little bit thick but there's no pain at least when I swallow which is I'm grateful and my nose is a little bit stuffy but that feels like a hay fever thing not so much sick sick yeah and I want to do a couple of jobs on the way to Zumba tonight and although that's only like ten dollars um it's ten ten dollars is better than no dollars and it's on the way so why not i just picked up this book from the free street library and madame a pompadour she is it the louis the seventh okay the mistress okay cool uh and then of course i went to dan murphy's you know i did and i got i got a lot i got i got a lot <laughs> so pretty much mostly all beers uh, and I got the last couple of ginger beers, spicy ginger beers. They're a dollar twelve each, so basically ten cents. So a dollar and two, and then I get I'll get the dollar. I'll get two dollars cash back, so I'll get a bonus dollar. So that dollar will cover all these other beers. So that might not be, might not have made much with that, but I got hubby beers, which is important for him. <laughs> ah. Um, and that's about all I had to say. I've had a bit of a morning trying to sort out some things for future plans. Just look, oh, I'm vlogging everything as well. You're going to have a giggle. Sometimes I wish I wasn't so frugal with things because I tell you, it means uh, another 28 steps in one simple thing that I do. But that's who I am. So, yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> and this afternoon I had a phone call with someone. Um, I'm not going to go into details. It was really good. It was just to connect and look for some um, future ideas with someone. And she says to me on the phone, are you over 23? And I thought, that's a weird age to ask. And I said, yes, I am. I'm actually in my mid 40s. And she's like, I said, I know I sound really, really young. Do you want to hear my telephone voice? And she's like, you go on. I went, Good morning, it's Kelly from Avon. How are you today? <laughs> she starts laughing and I said, I was just calling to check in your order and if you have any questions or regard comments regarding the last delivery. <laughs> I didn't laugh, but... And she's like, oh my gosh! <laughs> I said, oh yeah, I can flick a switch, whatever you need. She's like, oh. She said, oh, I can't wait to meet you. <laughs> She said, you sound hilarious. I said, thanks. 
Yeah, I do get that a lot. Like, how old are you? I often get, I'm not sure if I've told you guys, I often get mistaken for being a teenage mum because everyone says I look really, really young. And when I say, oh, my daughter is um, adult age, they're like, oh my gosh. And then I get, oh, that must have been hard. And I go verbally now, oh, here we go. And they're like, I said, you think I was like 16, 17 when I had my daughter, don't you? And they're like, well, the math makes sense. And I said, the math probably would make sense if I was the age that you think I am, but I'm not. And they're like, seriously? So um, I love that. So age is just a number. It's not how you feel. <laughs> I need to go and have a coffee today. It is a two coffee day. And also I need to vlog for my side hustle. So let's go. Oh, I need to tell you guys, because this has been in my head for the past few days and I kept saying I need to tell my blog people now only the people that pay attention to my crazy will totally get this do you remember that Kira got an email from some politician in Vermont in America asking her how does she feel about the postal system well the update is there's no update uh, sorry just just dropped my phone there Thank you, car. So the update is there's no update. Okay, don't know anything. Ab oh, shush! Don't know anything about the postal system. However, they are working really hard to deal with the floods, and they're really wanting to keep us updated. And they want to know if we've been personally affected by the floods. And if we have any concerns to contact them because they'd really love to work with the community so if you know anyone in Vermont let them know <laughs> I don't know how we got on this mailing list but we've been enjoying it nonetheless we thought we'd get an update about the survey that we did about them supporting the LGBTQ community didn't get an update about that and we're waiting on the postal system but for everything else <laughs> oh my gosh the littlest things entertain us i swear So I'm just uh, running around doing a couple of jobs. I've just got my exercise literally running up and down the stairs to get into Audi because a couple of them are like a double story thing. Um, and I had to get some more of the lolly things. I forgot the other bag. It looks like my Zumba ladies are getting a packet of lollies to take home. Okay, <laughs> I've had exercise before I even had Zumba. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Just checking in super quick because I don't have time to chat because we start hustling. We're busy today. We are busy lolly hunting. <laughs> my poor husband, I think he's over these. But all my Zumba ladies are loving the lollies. I'm giving everyone a free packet of lollies. And I hope I remember to take some to bingo as well. So <laughs> we have like 114 packets. <laughs> oh, and I've just put up a new one. So the first hunt was go and find the little packets of 35 grams. And the new mission that is up there is find them for 50 grams. So I've gone and done that as well. And there's a couple of others in the area. And we have other bits and pieces to do. So I'm just going to keep hustling and see you when I see ya. I forgot to mention too, these gift cards are back again, $100. You get 2,000 bonus points for every $100 gift card. So you get the $100 ones, not the $250. You pay a $5 activation fee. So technically, when it's all said and done, you get that's $5 worth of free money. And then these can you jump online and be used to pay the water, the gas, electricity, anything that allows uh, like a part payment of something. So that's also how I'm being frugal and hustling today. Hello, checking in Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> Finally home. Oh, 
this is why I enjoy having the freedom and flexibility to run around like a crazy person because as well as doing some side hustles I was able to check out some markdown shopping I kind of have no food either some shops I was a little bit too early um, and then other stores I know are around three o'clock some stuff I didn't even look at I just flew in did the job and flew out again who am I what's going on <laughs> um, I did go to Dan Murphy's though and pick up the last couple of things that are all around a um, dollar so I can scan the receipts because I got hubby a whole lot of beers last night and I said to him um, your beers are costing me my money in my side hustle and he's like oh my gosh I said yeah I'm doing this to, to earn money <laughs> uh, and then I went to the PO box I thought I had a uh, postcard from one of my subscribers so I'll be waiting for that but I had signed up to this thing called veggie starter kit I can't it was an ad on Instagram and it was like are you interested in vegetarian stuff and I went hello so I wrote look at that this is all plant-based hmm. so I wrote in to get this book it looks like they're uh, showing chocolates, chocolate. <laughs> Cho that's the first word I saw. Chocolate products that are all, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that! If you're out and about, apparently you can search for finding vegan food. Wow, I'm really glad I got this. I figured it was free. Um. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. This this is a, a, a godsend, I think. We don't do a lot of takeaway, but at least to know there is options. Very good. I'm super happy with that. So it's called vegkit.com. So it's, let me see if I can, can you, can you see that? Vegkit.com. So check it out. And why they, um, they said that they only post stuff out like every two weeks. So if you go on the list, it might tell, I forgot all about it. So, oh, there's a um, magnet for my fridge. Oh, okay. Well, I have a whole lot of lollies today, so we'll go and do that. And then I have to go to Kmart and get a new cable for my phone because um, this is the once a year replacement of, of course, um, like bench, either this side or the other side. And so it's a bit broken. Um, I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm going to have a coffee today because I haven't had one today. Oh, I went to also... Ampole Foodery because I was doing these jobs and I drove down the street. I rarely go down and I went, oh, and realized. So I chucked to Yui and went back because petrol was $1.77. Now I normally get petrol on Thursday morning on the way back from Zumba to pick up my mom to go to bingo. But I, um, hang on, my car is probably about to turn off. Uh, I, Last week I ran out of time to stop. I think the car's going to beep and do annoying noises. There we go. Yeah, I ran out of time last week. To go Have you finished? Pet adults are talking. Thank you. And... <laughs> See what I've put up with? Anyway, and if I'm trying to side hustle, I'm not going to have time to do that and petrol on the way home. So I stopped to get petrol, it was $1.77. And of course, being a foodery, I'm like, ooh, clearance, let's have a look. It didn't have a lot. The only thing I did pick up was this hazelnut coffee for $2. And this will be my morning tea after Zumba tomorrow. I don't mind buying things like this because also it's a flavor thing. It's milk and I don't have a small enough container like this because I'll catch this in for 10 cents. 
So, yeah, and I got to the checkout and the guy said to me, oh, you get a free sausage roll. And I went, free what? Thank you. He goes, yeah, for $5, you can have a sausage roll and you can have this. And I said, oh, but I'm only paying $2 for that. So that doesn't work out for that and that. And he goes, but it's the product, not the price. And I said, that's still $3 for a sausage roll. Then I, I don't need a sausage roll. If that was free, uh, and I mean, I wouldn't pay $5 for this drink anyway, but that's what it was retail in store. Um, I think I've actually just realized I would have got a free sausage. The cogs are turning. This is retail price for $5 in store. And the guy said to me, you get a free sausage roll. And I said, I don't need a sausage roll. And I don't, calories, I don't need a sausage roll. Wish I got a sausage roll. <laughs> Does it come with sauce? I need a sausage roll with lots of sauce. Now I wish I had a sausage roll. <laughs> oh! <laughs> God. I'm going to have a coffee now. This is today's weather and I have seen two moving vans. How would you be moving in this weather? No thank you. I had to call my mum on the way here to go, can you please throw a pack of socks in your bag? Because my feet are wet. Because luckily I found my shoes in my car. Hello. Yo. Are you here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? I think. You think? <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> I'm back home. I just realized it's Friday, as weird as that sounds. Uh, and the last couple of Fridays, there has been like a breatho uh, partly on the way back home. And I thought, I don't want to get caught by that again. So let's just go home. And plus, I couldn't think of what I was going to say. So I thought, let's drive because that will jog my memory and I remembered what I was going to say so first of all um I've kind of swapped bags for now so you remember my backpack it's broke I'm still going to be on the lookout for a new one but my mum has lent me this handbag that's um had some wear I'm pretty sure this was her work bag because inside I found a corrosive battery uh a receipt from 2014 for the the buses for the by the weekly multi-pass thing that we get and um her 40 tips so i asked her if she won that round and she's like i don't even remember what it was for i remember on the list she had north adelaide i oh know uh north melbourne port adelaide she had adelaide so obviously cruise and port weren't playing against one another she had essingdon because bombers are her team and can't even remember who else that was on the list <laughs> ah, so yeah back in the day when she was part of the footy pool that was there was one at work and one of the rsl and one here there and every <laughs> my mum's into football uh she knows everything and yesterday being a thursday didn't really do much except zumba and bingo and food shopping and then came home, did a couple of side hustle stuff, so that's about it. Today, Zumba was there on time. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Uh, got up a little bit earlier and did a couple of side hustles on the way. It's probably why I'm so tired because it's like the body get up and go. I really need to stop checking the app at like midnight because I get excited about the, the jobs that might be there in the morning. And then I check it in the morning and they're gone. I'm like, <sighs> but then others come up. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, so I've just been uh, to Audi and probably the only grocery haul I'll do all week because, oh, that's what I was going to tell you. So we finished the Coles for four week spends. And my account had an offer. Uh, my my spend was spend seventy dollars every week for four weeks, and I was like, I'm out. So my daughter's account was spend the fifty dollars or sixty or whatever it was, and I was like, that one's okay. So we'll do that one, and we did we did well. And I can tell you right now that. Uh, yeah, I haven't needed to buy. I've just bought a couple of things now, which I'll share, but I haven't really needed to buy anything else. So I think that all the stockpiling and stuff I've done is good. It's going to cruise us through. And, you know, this is where we could then do the Woolworths Everyday Extra Shop for the once a month to stock up if we need some stuff. Or uh, do an Audi shop because I've still got gift cards left from previous collabs and stuff like that. So we shall see where we're at. I'm not worried. I'll worry about it when we get there. I did, however, have an offer that was spend $90 or more in one transaction and get 3,600 points. And I was like, I'm not doing that either. <laughs> Except I did. <laughs> because one of the side hustle jobs I had to do was find all those pink lollies at the checkout and it said buy them all. Well, the total came to $104, so I thought, well, I'm going to take up the flybys offer, get the free flybys, and then basically it will just probably knock me out of the next round of flyby spends again. I was like, mm, it is what it is. And then apparently there was a, another email that I activated, and we got another bonus offer, another 2,000 points. So, I don't know. I'll take the points. Thank you very much. So, yeah, it's just balancing out where the spends are happening. And as I said, we've got enough stockpile to cruise us for another couple of weeks. So, I guess we'll see where we're at. Um, yeah, it's good testing things, I think, from time to time. So, yeah, just been to Audi. I picked up the spinach ricotta triangles because my daughter can eat these. She really likes them. My son likes them too, as long as when I cook them. The filling doesn't come out because he, then he looks at it and he goes, no. Nope. I think because it's pastry, he just likes to eat it. I got some frozen chips for the sake of chips because some nights if um, hubby and I are going to eat something different, it's easier just to give the kids uh, uh, chips. And I picked up the iced coffee. I We don't mind this one, actually. So And then this is only $3.99 compared with $6.50 for Farmers Union. So I just picked it up. It will cover us for a couple of days until we figure out if next week I might do the uh, Woolworths big spend. I don't know. We'll just see where we're at. And then, um, yeah, Zumba and Bingo today. And I won the meat tray. So that's exciting. So I have some bacon and eggs for breakfast, steak for dinner, sausages for a meal. And I think these are chicken patties. So I'll be able to cook those up. So I'm thinking, yeah, mashed potatoes, veg, mash and veg and probably a curried sausages uh, with some rice or again mashed potatoes <gasps> oh my gosh so that's really good and I think that is all really for today so I'm gonna go inside and have a coffee because I've really earned it today and uh, see where I get up to Hey everyone, happy Saturday. 
Whew, just finished teaching a Zumba. It was a good class today. We've got some new songs. <laughs> I said one of the songs, guys. I'm really sorry, but I've downloaded the wrong song. They're like, I said, it's in all Spanish, which like I know and enough Spanish to get me through. And at least if I can just get to the chorus, it's Shakira's Loca. Crazy about you, baby. Loca, loca, loca. If I can get to that bit, then I'm okay. But it was just the bits in the middle. And the Spanish song is a little bit different to the English song. So <laughs> I was like, let's just dance because in my head, I worked it out perfectly and at home doing a little practice it was perfect but trying to teach it it depends how it comes out so um some of my crews are so kind i always say just entertain me and i say oh i don't mean like <laughs> just entertain the crazy for five minutes and they're like yep no worries uh and then funny because i get to the hall and it's a multi-use hall and there's a drama group that's in there and i got there and all the doors were open and i was like hello hello and no one's answering me i was like oh i was just about to send a text to the committee to go all the doors are open and he texts me just heads up drama groups coming in today i'm like ah oh. so i was like probably when i got there someone was out in the car that opened the door and they were out to the car to carry something in but then he said to me no this door uh is open because the cleaners come and they've just opened for air and i'm like <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I won't panic from now on. I'm pretty much everyone that's attended a Zumba class this week has gotten a pack of lollies. <laughs> I can't even give them away at this point. Today, out of like 10 people, like four took them. <laughs> oh, so that's funny. I'm off to do a couple of jobs now. Probably not as many as what I could do, but I'm just like, I'll leave some for other people. And also they are about 10 minutes out of my way and it's only three jobs that are four dollars each and they're a bit of a distance between one another so if i could double piggyback them with a couple then i totally would but i'm i'm just gonna leave it one of the jobs i accepted is go and take some photos of newspapers at the front of um coal so i'm gonna go do that but i accepted it and then saw that the other job that i thought was sitting there is gone I think they have enough data because it said closing Monday, today, Saturday. So I think they've got enough data and they've pulled them. But that would have been oh so nice to have gone and done that $6 job and the $4 job in the one place. I do have another $4 job, so they will piggyback together. So that's $8, but how nice would it have been to go on and done a $12 job in one spot? Anyway, I'm probably rambling. I really would love to get some washing done today. The sun is out, so let's take advantage of that and yeah. Hello, it's Saturday evening tonight. Love is picking up your child from a party at nearly midnight because that's the kind of parent that you are. Call me no matter what the hour to come and get picked up unless you're staying overnight. Do not get in anybody's car to come home if they have been drinking. Thank you very much. This was just a friend's um, hangout thing and no one here was drinking or driving. So that's fine. So uh yeah just waiting for her to come out texted that i'm here <laughs> been texting her <laughs> song lyrics because <laughs> uh, that's the crazy parent that i am yeah <laughs> i won't tell you what she replied with <laughs> but um ah uh, yes we have a strange relationship what can i say
Hello, happy Sunday. Oh, my face is red. I've just been sitting in a car, just staring at my phone, doing that, like I'm home decompressing. Quiet time for 10 minutes. The sun's out today as well, which is nice. So I will, got a bit of laundry to do. So I think I will go inside and do that. But I've just went and did a quick job. That was $4 because I stupidly accepted it at like 10 past nine this morning when I'd just woken up. And so then that meant I had to uh, go and do it, which is fine because I had to go and get bread for hubby. So I went to Audi and I got our multigrain bread. This is from Audi. It's $2.60, I think. I don't know. Uh, we really like it. It actually stays fresh for quite a while, which is good. It's fresher than the Woolworths bread and we usually get Coles bread. I don't have any uh, flybys spends and I've still got the 10% off for the Woolworths spend and I've got two because I've got one for my mobile phone and one for the everyday extras but I'm going to wait probably till the end of the month to get the best value out of it and if there's any offers um, piggyback them so I got the so I got that uh, and then I also got a muffin kit we really like this one and this doesn't have may contain traces of nuts on the side so this one will be safe for uh kira to eat and we got the chocolate chip ones as well yes i can make them myself but also i can literally walk inside and dump some oil and an egg into this and then we've got cupcakes in 20 minutes rather than get out the mixer and the flour and the sugar and the da 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 so some days your sanity is totally worth it now i know that when things say main contain traces of it doesn't actually mean that they're in there but when you have anxiety around certain things that have given you reactions it's something to be aware of and so for me to be able to show her that this says it doesn't stay may contain traces of nuts then that will become a safe food for her and I share this because maybe there's some other people out there in the situation I know may contain might be over here in the safe thing but if you have a thinking that it's not then that's where you're at so that's where we're at just working within what we can and supporting what we can best we can gonna be a long road what can I say and then I got a Caesar salad kit this will be my lunch might down to $3.99 I was gonna get the big bag the last bag I got some people just picked at the lettuce and that was it so I took all the bacon and cheese out then I went to Bunnings because I got to offer 10 times the points on cleaning and I thought let's go because there's been some stuff I've been wanting to get for a while so I got some drain clean this was ten dollars i think or 9.98 so i got that oh here's my receipt yeah 9.98 i got three scour i was just gonna say scrub daddy but it's the scour one so it's the like you use it against metal i really like these for cleaning the bottom of my pans and sometimes when i'm cleaning the oven because Oh, I've just got goosebumps thinking about, you know, those really cheap, like you get 10 in a packet for $2, the, the metal scourers. Sometimes when I'm using them, oh, could I again, I will feel a little bit go into my finger. Oh, I can't, I can't. Let's stop talking about that. Uh, and then I got a packet of 10 of these sponges. So they're just cheap. These were $2.99. Oh, this was a pack of three for $6. I think they're on special. And these were $2.99. They're not the best quality, but we need to use a lot of sponges in the house anyway. So we'll use them and throw them because the other ones were running out anyway. And they weren't lasting as they weren't lasting much longer than these anyway. Uh, and then I went to Liquorland and I got Pepsi Max for $2.31 with the cash back with smart spotter i'll get a dollar 50 back so making this 80 cents so i thought why not although i scanned the wrong card <laughs> I accidentally scanned the house card instead of my side hustle card so yeah either or it all balances out in the end there are things that i've bought with the side hustle money that's like for the house like chips and food 
so yeah it all balances out in the end as they say and then in the back oh hang on a second oh we're back ah uh, so we've been to Dan Murphy's of course we went to Dan Murphy's so I got three of these beers these were two dollars each because there's no clearance sticker and I said to the uh, man who was cleaning shelves excuse me he's like yes I'm so sorry to disturb you there's some beer in the clearance trolley and it's got no sticker on it he goes oh okay and then he like comes and he looks he goes oh I can do those for two dollars each if you want to come with me right now and I'll do it through the register I said thank you so much because they've been three dollars on clearance so technically free beer and I'll get 10 cents back per bottle because when I put the receipt in and then I picked up a couple of these tonic water things for a dollar twelve so technically I'll earn a dollar um, back on my receipt and the ten cents for the bottle we have some little flavor things that were sent to us too to flavor water so we're going to use those and see if it um, makes a difference and how uh, that goes so yeah uh, I think I'll probably just do the washing today, make those cupcakes, uh, have my lunch, and yeah, don't know. I just felt I should probably get up and do something today, especially because I need the multigrain bread. Otherwise, I was just going to sit there in my PJs and stare at the computer all day, which is totally fine to do, but some days you want to have something done. Next week, I'll probably say something different. Today was a day that I needed to sit down and go. So, yeah. So, if this is the last time that I am seeing you, thank you so much for watching this week. I thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys that are here watching the vlogs. I'm really sorry I haven't had any other, like, major frugal content. But I've just been busy doing side hustling and... I do a lot of cleaning and I kind of get 90% of the way there and it's the last 10% that I just don't get around to doing and so I've got all this footage sitting there like with a plan and uh, no execution so that might be my plan this week if I don't get a lot of side hustle stuff come up who knows that's my passion project right now so that's where we're at bye guys